So I want to talk a little bit about a poisonous plant. This is the milkweed. You've probably all seen milkweed growing uh, in Shenley Park or in Highland Park uh, or up in McConnell's Mill or wherever you go out in the woods and fields. If you break off a leaf of this plant, drops of a milky liquid will come out. It's called latex. And that milky liquid contains a poison. Somewhere around 15 million years ago, the milkweeds evolved. And they've been very successful. They're an American plant. This is where they're native. And there are, oh, more than 100 species of them now, specialized for particular habitats. But each of them contains a whole set of compounds that are poisonous. That has protected them for millions of years from being eaten by the caterpillars and the deer that would ordinarily come across a plant that looks so succulent and luscious as this and, and consume it. It took, oh, maybe 10 million years for insects to crack the code. And only a few insects have done that. They've learned to tolerate those compounds. They have evolved themselves some chemicals that make them immune to the poisons. Once they're immune to the poisons, they can build them up in their bodies, and those same poisons protect them from the blue jays or the robins that would eat them. They don't want to kill the blue jay when the blue jay eats them. They want to make it really sick. So the blue jay remembers, I don't want to eat that thing anymore, right? And blue jays learn from each other as well. So the insects maximize the chance that the blue jays will learn by coloring themselves in a really prominent way. So the monarch butterfly, which evolved about 5 million years ago, 10 million years or so after the, the milkweed we see here, the common milkweed, has this red and black coloring. So the blue jays, the robins, the magnolia warblers all know not to touch it. <clears throat> Well, they're not the only insect that has evolved the ability to eat these plants. There's the milkweed bug, Oncopeltis, that feeds exclusively on milkweeds and has that same black and red coloring. Don't touch me. Don't eat me. You'll regret it. We have the milkweed longhorn beetle, Tetropes, Tetrothalamus, that also feeds exclusively on the milkweeds. So red and black, that means that the insects have protected themselves with the poisons that they get from the plants, and the plants in turn protect themselves as well.